Patty. Come. Good girl. Place. Good girl. So you guys, what I just did there is I used my obedience commands to move her from one point to another. So I said her name and that was the attention getter. She said, yes, Julie. And I said, come. I also tapped my tone at the exact same time. That's just a reinforcer of that word. It beeps by her ear. So if you need to get her from one point to another, use your recall always. That will always get her moving. And then you can either direct her into a sit, a down, you can put her on place, or you can put her into a heel. Okay, so I'm just showing you a way to use all the commands that she's learned here in a practical way once she's home. So you're going to use the place command during times where nobody's really interacting with her. Maybe everyone's doing homework, you're cooking dinner, you're doing chores, and it's a time where Maddie would normally be just wandering around. Save her the stress and the anxious pacing and just put her on place and let her settle. Okay, look how, look how nicely she melts into that bed. She really would appreciate a place to go and just relax like that. Now, if you want to move her, as I was just discussing in the previous rep, I'm gonna show it again. I'm gonna flip the camera around. If you need to move her for whatever reason, you're always gonna use that recall. So watch again. Come. Good girl. Place. And I use my pointed finger. I point to the bed and say place. And if she doesn't automatically lay down, I'm gonna tell her, down. She always should be in a down on the place bed because remember, it's her place to relax. So we want the mind and body to be relaxed. And so that's why we ask for that down stay. Now you can also send her to place. So if she's in the room and you don't wanna use your recall, which you always can use your recall, that's the easiest way is to stand behind the bed, say come, say place, and say down. You can also send her to place. So I'm going to look at her and I'm gonna use my pointed finger and I'm gonna say place and she follows my pointed finger onto the bed. If she needs help, I'm gonna tap my tone button, which always initiates movement. Place, good girl. And she's trained to go on the cot and lay down. Yay, oh, good girl, you're so proud. Good girl. And notice how I'm able to move all around the room. Open the door, do all kinds of things but she respects the boundary of staying on the bed. I can even leave the room. Because she knows, don't leave that bed until you're either released or given another instruction. Come. Good girl, place, very nice. So I think she's got that down pat, those basic mechanics. Those are really, really simple patterns that you're going to be using with her at home. It's just a really simple come place down. Now you can also use the healing in the house. If you need to move her from, let's say her place bed and it's time to go potty and you don't wanna release her because she'll turn into a rocket that flies all around the house, you can actually heal her throughout the house and it keeps her nice and calm walking at your pace. So I'm gonna just say heel. If she doesn't move off the bed immediately, I'm gonna tap my tone. Heel, good girl. And now the same rules apply, heel, I tap my tone there, as they do outside on the leash. And we call this burning trails in your house. So you're gonna be traveling the most common pathways with your dog, practicing a calm walk so they're not shooting all over the house out of control. So look at how we use this heel even inside the house. And there's no leash. She's just walking nicely with me. And I can put her back on the place bed if I want by pointing to it. Place, right? So I can pick her up and drop her off. So I just dropped her off. Let's see if I can pick her up again. So it's all just ways to move with your dog in a controlled, calm way. And you're also working on keeping the obedience sharp. Heel, heel, good. I tap the tone there. Each time it's gonna get better. And we're just practicing walking calmly in the house, following that left leg. Good girl, Maddie. Another way that I can drop her off 
down, click, down. Okay, so the first time she was like, what? I clicked, I was at an eight. I don't know if you can see that. And she said, huh? And so I said, down, and then she listened. So now she's in a down stay, we're in the kitchen. Another practical use of obedience is to put her in a down stay. Now you could also have a place bed here, but a down stay is just a stationary command just the same. And it's a good opportunity for her to practice a stationary command. And maybe I wanna come over here and do the dishes without a dog nosing in there. Very nice, I could also stand here and cook, right? And let's say I wanna pick her back up. Actually, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you an out of, out of uh, sight recall. So she's in the kitchen in the down stay. I'm in the family room. And let's say I wanna get her from the kitchen to the family room. I'm going to use a silent recall, meaning I'm not going to say anything. I'm just gonna tap my tone. Good girl, place. Very nice. Do you guys see how that works? She's trained so that when she hears the tone, which beeps by her ear on the collar, it means get moving and find the person calling you. I love that. Good girl, Mads. Good girl.